defending atheism or about atheism was really goddamn common. Like, this was around the early years of um, YouTube. Somewhere around 2010-2011. Um, you would see people like the Amazing Atheist, Thunderfoot, Jacqueline Glenn, and all these other atheists, you know, going after Christianity, sometimes Islam as well, you know, criticizing the Bible, you know, going after Christians who make these atheist videos saying that, you know, us atheists are evil, we have no morals, Ugh. but now that seemed to die down very quickly, <laughs> and it's replaced by this new dogmatic ideology called social justice warriors. God, I miss the good old days. And now, I'm making a video response to one of the atheists that I pretty much used to look up to. Jacqueline Glenn. And, boy, oh boy. I've been holding this in for quite some time. Jacqueline Glenn, you shitty fucker. It's about damn time I address you. So, today, we're going to be talking about transgender bathrooms. Yet again! Hey guys, so I'm sure a lot of you have already heard about the whole transgender bathroom issue. A lot of people have been asking me to comment on it, and I haven't yet, because honestly, I think the whole topic is really stupid. Believe me, you and I are both in the same boat. There are hundreds of things that I would rather be debating about than transgender bathrooms. I mean, of all the important things in the world that we could be talking and debating about, we're talking about who can go into what bathroom to take a shit. Some things are just so common sense to me that it's just frustrating to see people go back and forth over such like small, stupid things. Exactly what is common sense, Jacqueline Glenn? Like, transgender bathrooms, is it really common sense? Because, as far as I'm aware, it's really not common sense. It wouldn't be common sense for you to not plagiarize other YouTubers stealing their, well, you're not stealing their content, but, you know, you're pretty much taking their ideas and, you know, making them your own. You're basically every copy and paste atheist on the internet, from armored skeptic to essence of thought. You know, with me, yeah, you can say the exact same thing, but at the very least, I try to do my very best to show some form of originality. Let's say I were a transgender woman, for example. I can't go into the women's bathroom because all the women are going to think that I'm some kind of weird pedophile, which is ridiculous. And then I can't go into the men's bathroom either because if I walk in looking like a woman, I'm going to get the shit beat out of me. No. No, 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 no. Okay. Jacqueline. Most transgender people can pass with through fine colors. Like, you wouldn't be able to tell that they're fucking trans. Yeah. Uh, unless they just started transitioning. Which then, you could tell a little bit that they just started transitioning into a, ma a male or a female. I mean, it's, it, being transgender isn't exactly like being, you know, it's not, not some fucking Cinderella story where, you know, your fairy godma just, you know, pokes you where one and say, whoop, I'm a woman now! And it's not like it's a fucking... You know, sigh in our fucking forehead saying, we're transgender. <laughs> and I don't see it on your forehead either, track Jacqueline. In fact, let's put that on your forehead just, you know, just for fun. Let's say I were a transgender woman, for example. I can't go into the women's bathroom because all the women are going to think that I'm some kind of weird pedophile, which is ridiculous. And then I can't go into the men's bathroom either because if I walk in looking like a woman, I'm going to get the shit beat out of me. You see, Jacqueline, if you were to tell me out, come to me and tell me that you were transgender, I wouldn't really give a damn. Especially if you're using the bathrooms. Because you pass with flying colors. But, 
the problem is, is that anyone can just put on a wig and a dress and say that, you know, they're transgender. Or you don't even have to attempt to put on a dress or, or, or a wig. Just, just, just say that you're a woman or you just don't feel comfortable using the men's bathroom and you could just use the women's bathroom. And if the women in the bathroom have an issue with that, well, they can take it up with the manager. Don't believe me? Well, watch this video. I wanted to make sure that I was allowed to use the women's room before I went in. Yeah. Is that? Yeah. That's, that's, that's correct. Yeah. That's fine? Yes. Okay. If any of the women have a problem, you let them know that... Yeah, they, they can come and we get, we'll speak to them. Okay. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, Thank no you. problem. So there you go. There's some evidence for you. And you know, us atheists really love evidence, right? So, I'm very curious of what's your next action. Are you going to actually prove me wrong? Or are you going to pull some social justice warrior bullshit, block me on Twitter, and, you know, call me a fucking misogynist? Because, you know, equality. So it puts transgender people in this horrible position of just having to fucking hold it. So I have chosen to respond to this stupid issue uh, through song. Oh, good fucking grief. <clears throat> let them pee, let them pee, they can't hold it in anymore. Great! Frozen! Like, that hasn't been done before. Alright, let's, you know, just get over it. Yeah. Let them pee, let them pee, what the fuck else is a bathroom for? Um, what about changing clothes and respecting someone's privacy? No, I don't care what the right wing says. Oh yeah, you know, those evil right wingers being homophobic and transphobic. Yeah, you don't really care what they have to say. The old fucking vampire thing. Just, they'll suck on the blood in the instant. You know. And you know, the funny thing is, I'm not a right winger. I'm a left winger. And, you know, ever since social justice warriors are, you know, moving into the White House and shit, I'm becoming more and more sympathetic every day with the conservative right. In fact, it seems that the radical left is more conservative than the conservative right. Strange on how that works. It's a fucking bathroom stall. You're the only one in there anyway. Come on, you know that's a fucking lie. Most stores, you know, big stores like Kmart, Target, um, let's see what else, McDonald's, Burger King, you know, some of them actually have more than, oh, jeez, I don't know, two fucking toilets. Sometimes it's only one toilet, but most of the time it's two toilets for the men. <laughs> oh, oh. So, yeah, those are my thoughts. But I get it, people are concerned, they're afraid that guys are just gonna put on girls' clothes and walk into a girl's bathroom and be pervy. Well, there's already people abusing this system. I'm not really all that shocked. If only there was a way we could research to find out the number of people who are transgender that are actually pedophiles. Oh my god, there are! And guess what? Transgender people aren't really a threat! Looking for your sources on your radio. <coughs> <coughs> Let's see. How does it Let them pee. Let them pee. They can't hold it anymore. I'm so sick of hearing about this stupid transgender neutral bathroom debate. Let's go. It's a silly argument. These are my thoughts. Snapchat, blah, blah, blah. Links, 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 links. I only accept friends that I know, but this is if you want to follow my personal Facebook page. Um, Basic inquires only. Donate to my Patreon. Uh, or send me snail mail. So, um, citation? And you know what? If a guy just throws on girls' clothes so that he can walk into a women's bathroom and creep on people, then guess what? That's illegal, and they'll be arrested, just like any guy that would walk into a women's bathroom to creep. But wouldn't it make more sense to prevent these sort of things? 
so that way the women doesn't get traumatized from them being peeked on or being molested. I mean, that's like saying, you know, don't worry, we'll capture the guy who stole your stuff. So, you know, you don't have to worry about locking your doors at night or closing your goddamn windows because if he does happen to sneak in, don't worry, we will bust him. Yeah, progress. It's not legalizing the creep. And why are we only worried about little girls? Why aren't we worried about little boys? I mean, aren't they just as much of a concern? And if they were, wouldn't we ban all priests from going into any bathrooms? That's a false fucking equivalence. We're talking about transgenders using the opposite that opposite opposite bathroom that they were born, you know, assigned with at birth. You know, a priest is going to use the gender that they were born with all the fucking time. And, you know, you will never be able to tell who's really a priest and who isn't if they're not wearing a fucking, you know, typical priest attire. And even then... No, no, no. You're more likely to be molested at church than at a fucking bathroom near a fucking priest. Because, well, most children tend to be around adults when they're in the bathroom. So, there's that. I mean, the likelihood of a man who's a priest walking into a public bathroom and molesting a boy, the odds of that are way higher than a transgender woman walking into a bathroom and doing anything wrong. Listen and believe, ladies and gentlemen. Listen and believe. And for some reason, the concern with this thing is always brought up for transgender women walking into women's bathroom. You don't ever really hear anybody bitching about a transgender man walking into a bathroom that's, you know, got the genitalia of a woman. That's not really an issue for anyone, so I guess we're sexist. You know, that's saying something. It's pretty much saying that the conservative right is showing more care for women than the liberal left, aka the feminists, are showing care for the women. Because, you know, transgender rights overrules female rights. And, you know, I understand this, you know, what you're saying, you know, where's, you know, the double standard and shit. Yeah, I can see it, but... I can understand their point of view as well, Jacqueline. Oh, but the odds are so much higher of a man being a creep and dressing like a woman to go in and creep on girls. I guess we're sexist again there because, like I said, we're not concerned about the little boys who are at risk from all the pervy men that walk into their restrooms. See, it's not legal to be a perv. If you're a guy who wants to molest a boy and you walk into a men's bathroom and something bad happens, that's illegal and you get arrested. Same thing that would happen if a guy dressed up as a woman and walked into a woman's bathroom and did something bad to a little girl. You would get Arrested. Fuck taking precautions in order to avoid any of these things. <sighs> That's not what we're debating right now. We're debating whether or not transgender people can walk into the restrooms of the gender that they identify with. Which is what Target just did and they got a lot of shit for it. And now apparently the American Family Association, which is some kind of conservative Christian group. <laughs> they want to call for a boycott and then just ban all of the Target stores. And it seems like every time there's ever family in some kind of group, it's some sort of really right-wing hateful group. I don't know why that is. Focus on the family. I am so tired of people's bigoted bullshit. In my opinion, the best solution to this whole thing would be either A, get the fuck over it and let transgender people use whatever bathroom they choose to use, or B, have gender neutral bathrooms. Or C, how about no, how about no, you unoriginal motherfucker. I often go to the YouTube space in LA and they have a gender neutral bathroom. It's amazing. Everyone has their own stall. You walk out and there are sinks. You take a shit, you take a pee, you wash your hands and you leave. Why is this something that we have to debate? Oh, jeez, I don't know. Maybe because it might actually affect people. You know, real people like myself. Like I said at the beginning, I feel like this whole thing is kind of stupid, and that's why I answered it with a stupid song. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Well, I'll do you one better. Here's a whole video response. I am the atheist gamer. Peace the game out. Wait. <laughs> I don't want to be like an amazing atheist clone. I don't want to be like you, Jacqueline Glenn. I gotta come up with something a little bit more different. A little bit more originality. Oh, I know. I am the Atheist Gamer! Keep gaming on!